easy to get caught up in the mania of Black Friday and the holiday shopping frenzy in general. But the ladies at Indy's Mom Blog say it does not have to be that way. Ann Beal is here with some Black Friday alternatives. I like this concept, especially for some families. What are some things you'd recommend folks do? So, you know, we get really caught up in this idea, and Marie Kondo started our year saying, let's purge. So, <laughs> you're right. If we do it Black Friday, joy, it exactly. be it's just inviting more stuff into our lives. So, I have some ideas for ways that we can actually do things for others that doesn't involve buying and purchasing from retail stores. Okay. Um, and so one of those is, you know, you can easily just get your kids with you, get your kids together around the um, counter in the kitchen and say, let's make some brown bag lunches for people. Hmm. Let's, you know, go around town. There's a lot of interstate exits that do have people, you know, around this time of year who are seeking assistance. And that's just a really great idea to pass out. It's super simple, super easy. Um, it fits with Thanksgiving too. Exactly. You know, because you just had a big meal yourself. You probably have yeah. a ton of leftovers, if nothing else. Uh, but then you, you're in the mentality of, you know, great Fullness and exactly. giving back to service. Yeah. And you can just put it in, you know, like a reusable little container that you don't plan on getting back and then just, you know, mm -hmm. give it to somebody else. So it's a way of, you know, paying it forward, passing it forward. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, volunteering doesn't have to be at necessarily a soup kitchen or a mission, but mm -hmm. you could definitely find ways if you called a church and said, hey, do you need a place in your building cleaned? Perhaps a particular um, office or a particular room that doesn't necessarily right. get the attention it should perhaps always get. And a lot of those places would be more than happy to have you come. <laughs> or calling an individual family. Yeah. <laughs> I understand that you have seven kids and you guys are busy and how can we help? Totally true. Yeah. Um, and it teaches, you know, kids the, the foundation of let's give back a little more since mm -hmm. we do say thanks Thursday instead of going Friday to shop. Yep. Um, and so, the, you know, the other ideas too is um, we have some great ideas for senior citizens who mm. oftentimes sometimes get overlooked um, around the holidays just because it's so busy. We're bustling. Mm -hmm. We've got places to be. And sometimes they are perhaps in an assisted living center and right. some of those places would love to have some things donated to them. Um, and so one of the things I have here is it's a busy blanket for okay. people with dementia. And so it's super simple. I did mine half so, half no so. So if you're not artsy or you're not Pinterest inspired, um, you know, who doesn't love doing this with those sequin oh, tiles yes, they those have? Oh like rainbow scales. Right, and yep. you know, they can spell names, especially that's important for people who are in that situation because a lot of times names are something that become a little foggy if, if dementia is part of, the, of their daily life. Um, and they and it's also, tactile too, yeah, obviously. It's not just thinking, super tactile. it's putting it together. Exactly. Exactly. And a zipper. Yep. Okay. And even these, this little thing too with like the texture Rainbow. helps too. So just an idea. And then also, you know, if you want to do a gift, but you don't want to spend the money or you want to get your kid involved, you mm -hmm. can always do a tie blanket too. This is a simple, simple idea. You just get two pieces of fabric and mm -hmm. you just cut perpendicular and tie them together. And it's Colts blue. Yep, so exactly. I know a lot of folks have done that. Pull that out in front of you oh, actually yeah. so we can take a closer look. Yep. Because this is something that you mentioned kids can really do too because yeah. you really just get these two yep. sheets of fabric and then tie them together. And if you go the to ends. the fabric store and you just say, I want to make a tie blanket, they'll know exactly what you're <laughs> talking like, about. <laughs> yep, they'll tell you exactly how much you need. You don't need to go looking up anything. But if you do, the post to, the post will tell you everything you need. I like that you've taken this angle then. I certainly hope folks at home can maybe think of a way to give back on their Friday too. Do you plan on doing any of these? I do, What's yes. What's your plan for this So Friday? I'm going to probably make another busy blanket, mm -hmm. but I'm also going to spend a little bit of time with my son and we're going to bake some things as well. Oh, that's so, wonderful. Yep. Quality time there. Enjoying your Thanksgiving week, especially with your family. So Anna, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. So Happy Thanksgiving. It. Of course, everyone at home too. It's 926. Drew over to you.